Hello everyone, welcome to Ben and Ben Yoga by Sindur. As we all know, we have done with our introductory part and we have learned some of the basic techniques that's how to breathe, how to sit and how to stand. Today we are going to learn few basic seated stretchings and so we are shooting outdoor. There will be some dis disturbances and you know voice variations. Kindly adjust with that. Today's episode is going to be about seated stretchings and seated stretchings are very important to relax your body muscles and it helps to fl flex your hips and also reduces the lower back issues. So today I'm going to show you few modified versions of seated stretching as well as I'm going to use few props uh, like belt and I've used some blocks. Those, those are also called as bricks. So remember guys this also acts as a warm up to all your uh, daily activities like you can go for running, gymming, just do few stretchings this way and then it will keep you away from all the injuries. So coming to the first one is cross leg seated stretching. Sit in a cross leg or comfortable pose whichever pose is comfort comfortable for you. So I am keeping a cross leg. Bring your arms all the way up. Close your eyes. Observe your breathing and interlace your fingers and stretch your arms all the way up. Shoulders away from your ears, pull from your hip towards the sky, deep breathe in and deep breathe out. Two, three, four. And five. Let us twist towards the right side. It's just twisting, nothing else. Just twist. Activate your oblique muscles. Hold for five counts. Deep breathe in. Two. Three. four and five twist towards your left and hold for five counts observe your spine getting twisted activate your spine two three four and five you can add in a little twist here by placing your palm your left palm on the right knee twist relax your neck do not hunch your back just hold it straight Deep breathe in and breathe out. Hold for five counts. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Twist towards the left side by placing your right palm on the left knee. You can also place the palm on the brick and twist. Three, two, and one. Come all the way up. Let us add in some forward stretching in the cross leg. Exhale completely, bend forward. You can place your forehead on the brick or you can use a pillow. Remember to breathe deeply. Deep breathe in and breathe out. Hold for five counts. Don't lift your sit bones. 
let the let your sit bones remain on the mat two three four and five let us twist to the right side get your right palm towards the right side and bend feel the obliques getting stretched four three two one come to the center and shift to your left feel the obliques getting stretched guys remember to bring your awareness to your body parts deep breathe in and breathe out four three two one come to the center and then inhale slowly come up no rush take all your time to come up so the next stretch is going to be again the oblique stretch i'm going to place my right palm on the mat you can adjust according to your flexibility you can bring your palm if you are flexible enough you can also get your forearm on the mat so no force it's a journey so enjoy each and every movement that you're having on your mat so place your palm on your mat and stretch towards your right side observe the stretch that's happening on your oblique muscle towards your left don't raise your hip let your sit bone be on the mat deep breathe in and breathe out five counts five four three two and one inhale come up stretch towards your left place your left palm on the mat or your forearm and then bend deep breathe in and breathe out remember to breathe deeply each and every breath that you're taking and letting it out should be observed four Three, two, and one. Inhale, come up. So let us bring some shoulder movements. So before I get started with the belt, I will show you some basic shoulder movements. That's I'm going to show it in the sideways. I'm going to protract my shoulder get my elbows towards one level elbows and shoulder joint to one level interlace my fingers get it all the way down and then bring it all the way up interlace my fingers join my elbows and down protract retract protract your scapula while coming forward and when you're going down retract your shoulders all the way up last two exhale and inhale so after warming up your shoulder blades let us 
do some shoulder movements by using our belt so if you don't have a belt you can grab a towel or a belt that you tie around your waist so adjust it according to your length it can be adjusted by wrapping around your palm remember to keep your neck active elbow straight do not bend your bend your elbow keep it straight by taking it back exhale inhale up exhale back let us do it for five times three two and one don't hurt yourself by you know over stretching or you know trying to know your flexibility always take it slow and study adjust it according to your length and you can always you know reduce it by wrapping it around your palm and going all the way down and up we'll add in some side movements again over here i'm not bending my elbows elbows are straight so all the way back you should feel the stretch on your triceps back three two last one one let us do it on the other side exhale see my left shoulder is slightly stiff so i'm going to adjust it according to the length and bring it all the way down 3 2 and last one exhale inhale come up. so next pose is going to be bhu namanasana that is greeting the earth so come to your l set that is dandas dandasana set sit on your sit bones if you want you can separate your buttocks and sit firmly plant the sit bones on the mat spine active and belly activated so let us get up palm according to your our flexibility do not over stretch by getting your palm all the way to the back if you can place it here nothing wrong just twist your and hold do not lift your sit bones off the mat let it stay put so twist 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 and get your forehead on the mat hold it for 10 inhale come up so the same way let us stretch stretch on the right side get your palm on the mat twist how much ever you can do not force you can also place your brick i'll show you this way see if you can bend this much place your brick on the ground and your forehead on the brick so let us stretch on the right side hold it for 10 remember to breathe
Inhale, come up. Let us add in some knee movements here. Bring your knee to your chest. And place your ankle. Okay, I'll show it on the right side first. Get your left ankle on your right thigh. Get your knee to your chest and then push your knee to the ground. No pressure because knees, knees are very important in our body. So keep it safe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let us do it on the left side. Place your left ankle on your right thigh. Bring your right left knee to the chest and then down. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five and relax you can flex your toes by in and out so once you relax your knee now it's time to flex your hips so get your right like rotate your hip outward and get your right ankle near your chest you can take support of your forearm right forearm pull it near your chest if you can hold it till your just be there and swing cradle your leg Swing it to the side, extreme out, in, out, in. If you are flexible enough to get it near your chest, just get it, hold it, hold it. Make sure your spine is straight. Don't hunch, expand your chest, hold it, bring it out, cradle it. It's like as though you're swinging a baby. Hold it and relax let us do it on the other side rotate your hip outward don't get it this way it will be easy, easy if you rotate it outward and get your knee should be out and get your ankle near your chest if you can hold it here no problem hold it there and cradle your leg if you can bring it a little closer get it and swing it out and in out in out in out in out in hold it for a few seconds and relax from here we'll go to tabletop position make few wrist movements tabletop again your shoulder joint aligned to your wrist joint hip to your knee don't keep it forward just keep it aligned in the straight line we'll do rotations do not keep your fingertips just place your palm firmly on the ground index uh, index finger straight 90 degree and thumb out rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise four and five forward and backward again make sure that you're flexible enough to come forward if you can uh, like if it is really hurting then stop if you are flexible then go a bit forward and back forward and back forward and back last two last one and back 
come on your knuckles make a fist out of your palm do not close your thumb inward but let it be out hold it hold it hold it four and five now place your outer edge of your palm and just drop in a little bit of weight on your wrist if it is hurting don't do it it is just to flex your wrist and give some movement and to strengthen it four and five Shake your palms a bit, relax your jo wrist joints, in and out, come to your tabletop again, remember to align it in the same straight line from shoulder to wrist, hip to your knee, belly tucked in. Let us do a couple of cat and cow stretchings. So here we have to notice to keep our belly activated. When you are going all the way up by inhaling, tailbone should be out, arch your tummy and then open your chest, look all the way up, inhale, exhale, protract your scapula, shoulder blades moving away from the, away from each other. Tucking your belly, tailbone tucked in, inhale, retract your scapula, go all the way up, arch your back, look up, exhale, go down, inhale, slowly come up, observe your hip movement. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, observe your shoulder movement, exhale completely, tuck your chin to your chest, hold up, hold up. Hold up and relax.